Hi, I'm Jason Wright. I'm an associate professor of astronomy and astrophysics at the Center for Exoplanets and Habitable Worlds at Penn State University. Today I want to talk about Tabby's star, which has been called the most mysterious star in the galaxy. This star was discovered by the Kepler Space Telescope, which stared at one field of the sky for about four years, looking for the characteristic dimming of stars that occurs when a planet passes in front of them. Now, most of the time that stars get dimmer, it's not because a planet went in front. It's because it's a pulsating star, or because there's another star that went in front of it, or perhaps it has a disk of material around it. Most of the stars in the Kepler field fall into those sorts of categories, and we've learned a lot about planets and eclipsing binaries and all sorts of things. There was one star, though, that was almost overlooked that is much stranger than any of those things. There's a project online called Planet Hunters, and you can go there right now if you like, and log in, register, and start looking at the brightnesses of stars as measured by Kepler. Thousands of people around the world have done this to help astronomers find things that our automated pipelines might have missed because, well, it might be something that we weren't looking for. Most of the time, these anomalies are discovered by everyday people looking at this data, uh, it turns out to be a problem with the instrument, there was some sort of anomaly that occurred, maybe an asteroid passed in front of the star and made it change brightness, but sometimes it's something new and interesting, and as a result, the planet hunters have discovered many new planets. One star in particular, though, just came across as totally different from all of the others. The planet hunter citizen scientists noticed that it was getting dim by large amounts, far too much to be explained by a planet and it was doing so in very irregular ways. It wasn't happening periodically, and the dimming and brightening patterns didn't match any other known star. Dr. Tabitha Boyajian at Yale University started to look to see what was going on. At first we thought it might be some sort of a glitch in the electronics or the, some other data anomaly, but NASA scientists and engineers verified that the Kepler spacecraft really was seeing a star get dimmer by large amounts. So this has been dubbed the most mysterious star in the galaxy because as of now we don't have any really good ideas for what's going on with it. Some of the ideas that have been floated have been that a giant swarm of comets has been going around the star and we just happen to see a giant swarm of these enormous comets block the light of the star. Another idea is that we're seeing some kind of debris field from planets that have collided together, like in the image behind me that was actually made for another system. But a disintegrating planet or planets that have been smashed up might create huge clouds of material that could block that much light. All of the ideas that have been proffered so far, though, seem to be ruled out by other aspects of the star. I actually published a paper where we were discussing whether there might be alien megastructures around stars in the galaxy. I pointed out that the Kepler spacecraft would detect them if they existed. It seems that it didn't detect any, although I can't completely rule it out as long as we haven't solved the mystery of Tabby's star. Because, after all, what it's seeing are something very large, something clearly not stars or planets, blocking huge amounts of starlight. Since citizen scientists helped us discover this star, Tabby thought maybe we could get citizen scientists to help us solve the mystery as well. That's what's been going on, and citizen scientists have been able to help in two ways. One is that amateur astronomers from around the world have been monitoring the star to see if it gets dimmer again. And if we can catch it in the act getting dimmer, then we can point our telescopes at it and we can study the material that's blocking the starlight, finally figure out what this thing is. Another way that citizen scientists can help is through our Kickstarter campaign. We're trying to raise money to purchase time on a private network of professional telescopes around the world that can monitor the star every night and make precise measurements of its brightness so we can detect even small dimmings of the star. When that happens, we'll then be able to use larger telescopes to measure exactly what it is that's making the star dimmer and solve the problem of the most mysterious star in the galaxy. There are just a few days left to our Kickstarter and we're over two thirds of the way towards our goal. So I really hope that you can contribute and help make this a reality. You can learn more about my research at one of the links below. And thanks for watching Cool Worlds. If you like this video, please subscribe to more.